it's Zunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week, we discuss our experience with the PlayStation VR and give our thoughts on WWE No Mercy. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 34 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm actually good. No you actually, you actually illness had complaints Great. this week. I'm, uh, I'm good. Excellent. Um, before we start the show, I mm-hmm. just want to um, thank everybody who came along to our WWE 2K17 stream. Yes. Uh, a couple awesome. of days back. It was brilliant. So good. Um, so thank you very much. So it was a really fun stream. A lot of new people interacting and uh, yeah, it was a good time. And the game's great as well. Yeah, it's really fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, going to be right with you for it. Hopefully by the end of this week. Okay. Uh, look forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's VR stuff as well. Maybe. Yes. Um, what have you been playing? Um, what have I been playing? Um, so I finished off Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4. Um, I jumped into uh, Bioshock, Bioshock 1. Mm. Going to try and get the platinum on that. Oop, that was professional. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and platinum Bioshock 1. Um, playing through it on Survivor difficulty with no Breach Chambers, which is really difficult. Um, but yeah, uh, basically saving up to a good step. <laughs> it's getting through it slowly. And uh, other than that, mostly VR stuff, which I got today. Mm. Mm. Uh, very cool. How about you? What have you been playing? Um, I've been playing Gears of War 4. Oh, yeah. That's good. Uh, it's fantastic. It's Gears of War. Yep. Um, but it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, really hard hitting. Mm-hmm. Uh, graphics are fantastic um, and it's got great storytelling the voice acting is great so uh, awesome. enjoying that what else have we been playing been playing WWE 2K17 of, of course, course of course uh, which Good I'm really saying. enjoying we'll talk about it a bit more shortly mm-hmm. and um, a lot of Forza a bit of FIFA a few different bits sprinkled in so uh, cool bits and pieces yeah bits and pieces awesome uh, oh and I've been playing Mafia 3 oh yeah how's that it's fine it's fine, <laughs> Not it, great, isn't, it's fine. it isn't the game that I thought it could be. Yeah. It's it's it is I'm enjoying it, I am. But there's a lot of bugs. Um mm. and the the mission layout is sort of repetitive. Um they're I've quite, heard yeah. quite grindy and they all follow the same pattern. So basically you are recruiting sort of people to help you take down a mob boss. All right. Um that from something that happens at the story at the beginning. I'm not gonna spoil it. Um and to do that you have to sort of Take down, like, you have to take over rackets. Right. And you have to sort of take down lieutenants and until you draw out the boss of that racket. And then, but, you know, so it's, it's that same thing repeated. Right. It's the same thing over and over again. So far. I mean, I don't know if it's going to change once I've recruited everybody, but for the meantime, it just seems a bit, um, just seems a bit re- repetitive and grindy and, uh, as much as I'm enjoying it, because the gunplay is great, um, the documentary style um, way that the game is, the story is told is is really amazing. Cool. And the voice acting and stuff like that is really, really good. Yeah. Um, it's just the repetitive missions and uh, the bugs that are really letting it down. Yeah. Otherwise, it's good. It. Cool. I want to try when it's on sale, maybe. Uh, yeah, I would say don't. It's, it's nowhere near worth fifty four quid. All right, fair play. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I would wait until it's like the sale for maybe 20 at a push. Cool. Okay. But it's good fun. to know. I mean, Mafia 2 had its problems. Don't get me wrong. I mean, no, Mafia no. 2 wasn't perfect. No, no. But, uh, the fact that this is, we're on Mafia 3 now and these improvements haven't really been made is a bit baffling to me. Yeah, it's a bit weird. But, uh, yeah, well. Yeah, uh, there isn't any gaming news this week. So Not what really. we're going to do, Not we're going to sort of, uh, we're going to talk about WWE 2K17. And we're going to talk about PlayStation VR now that we finally have it. We're recording our Yay. podcast <laughs> later this week um, so that we could talk about it, so mm-hmm. that we had the units and we've had a few hours with it. And um, yeah, so let, let's start though. Let's talk about WWE 2K17. Okay. What do you think to it so far? Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, graphically, it's improved uh, a little bit. The lighting's a lot better. Agreed. Uh, it seems a bit smoother as well. The frame rate's a bit smoother. Yeah, I would, yeah, I'd yeah. say it probably is. <laughs> it's uh, there's I've, I've sort of encountered a few instances where the frame rate just can't keep up. Yeah, one well, yeah, I've noticed that in, like split screen when they separate and like go far away from each other goes a bit wonky, but I don't know, I've not really noticed much. Um, the career mode is cool. I haven't really played a whole lot of it. Um, as like you, I would jump straight onto the main roster straight away, yeah. uh, which is a bit weird. 
Um, I'm supposedly going after tag team titles. Haven't had a single tag team match yet. <laughs> um, yeah. so I'm not sure what's going on there as well. Yeah, so it's a bit yeah, weird. Universe mode is cool. Lots of customization going on. You can customize pretty much anything you can think of. Uh, which is super cool. And, uh, yeah, lack of 2K showcase is a bit, a bit of a nice to have it, but I'm okay. I'm enjoying it so far. It's a good multiplayer game. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's good. Like you, I think the lighting has improved, hmm. and it makes it just, it just makes it look better. I mean, it's not it's it's noticeable in different parts of the game. Yeah, it just looks better. I mean, you just have to take it from us. It just does. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it plays better. I think the new submission system is better. Um, I've actually lost to the computer a couple of times because <laughs> oh, yeah. of it, but um, I like it. It's going to take a bit of getting used to those. Much better than the other way. I yeah, think. I think so. Um, there's a lot of new cool stuff like interaction with tables and ladders and things like that. That's yeah, a lot that's better. Um, the backstage stuff is is cool. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, like you, the career mode, I took the same path as you. So I've jumped straight into the main roster, alleg- allegedly going after the tag team titles. <laughs> but um, yeah. I've got a, I have had tag team matches. And oh, I've yeah. got a tag team partner, which is just a made up CAW. Yeah, same. Totally. I haven't seen him yet, but apparently he's there. Um, so yeah, I, I like the career mode. I've not played a lot of it though. Um, universe, I've made my own universe mode. Nice. I've turned a Monday Night Raw, which is, uh, Attitude Era guys. Oh yeah, that's what I like, you'll tweet on it. And, that's uh, cool. I've done like the Thursday night, which would be SmackDown is like a old school WWE. So like with Mr. Perfect and, oh, yeah, yeah. Heart and stuff like that, which is really cool. And I'm enjoying it so far. Awesome. Um, but yeah, there's not really an awful lot to say about it apart from that. Uh, this, there is showcase coming with the DLC. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Interesting. Um, like with matches for, with wrestlers that aren't on the game currently, so DLC wrestlers. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Um, one thing that has disappointed me, um, it's nothing really to do with the game, is the NXT guys hmm. that are missing so far. Yeah. Like Nakamura, yeah. Um, Nia yeah, yeah. Jax and Apollo Crews, they aren't there until that NXT enhancement pack is released <laughs> to everyone who's yeah. the game. And I think that's, that's stupid. Weird. That's bull. It like, is a bit. They should have just brought that out with the game it just doesn't make any sense I mean one of the people I was most excited to be was Nakamura yeah same and I can't be him until I've got the enhancement yeah yeah I agree that's a bit pants Um, not sure why they've done it like that but that's business for you I guess yeah I mean you already get cool stuff with the NXT edition you get the yeah exactly you get the the signed um, Nakamura card and you get that piece of canvas from NXT TakeOver London yeah like they don't need the characters as well like yeah, gaming, is, gaming games, is expensive like, enough. It is, yeah. Like, I mean, look, look at the stuff. I mean, the games this month are Mafia, um, Gears of War, WW, like the game itself, VR. It's like, yeah, come on, cut. You got to cut us a bit of slack because that NXT stuff isn't coming with a season pass either. Oh yeah, it's true. You have to buy it separately for like a tenner. That's dumb. That's super dumb. Yeah, it's really dumb. But other than that, the game is great. Yeah, other than that, other than some shady business deals, it's it's pretty good. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's let's talk about the, the the big news article of the week. Okay, let's talk about PlayStation VR. Yay! Uh, we've had it for a few hours now. We have. Mine arrived about half twelve. Nice. Uh, when did yours come? Um, put it on the same time. To be fair. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Probably double earlier. Right. Yeah. Was it DPD that delivered yours? Um, I think so. Yeah. Was it Carl? I don't know. Didn't take his name. Carl <laughs> delivered mine. I bet he delivered yours as well. No, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, do you Carl. think to it? How, how are you finding it? Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's really good. Um, it's a, my one complaint is that it's a bit blurry. I feel like I need glasses wearing it, but I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's very, like, I want to say the word immersive because that's just used too much, but yeah, immersive. <laughs> like turning around to look at stuff behind you is very cool. Just being able to, like the 3D effect is cool. And yeah, it's my, kind of mind blowing. I think it's going to take some getting used to with the motion, like moving about is a bit, feels a bit, ooh, in my brain. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> Once you get used to it, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, um, I think it's great. Um, my brain is hurting a little bit sitting here. I'm yeah. just sort of playing Drive Club and Rigs. Um, so I don't think I'll be playing them again. Yeah, that's fair. Um, the only one that gave me like proper motion sickness was uh, the demo for Here They Lie, which uh, wasn't really a very fun game. It's supposed to be a horror game. It wasn't scary in the slightest. Um, all you do, you do is walk forwards, and it made me feel like super old playing it I was like oh, I don't want to play this I don't want to buy this <laughs> it's like uh, other than that the other ones the other ones I played I played Headmaster which is really fun 
That's the football one, right? Yeah, we just head forward into the goals. Do you just literally move your head and... Pretty much. Um, this is quite sensitive. I was kind of made a bit too much and they were flying off and, and I was like, oh, what's going on? But once I like learned they just move small movements, make a big difference. Have you been sitting think. down playing these games? Yes. So, uh, do you think you've got probably about the same distance to your TV that I have to mine here? Uh, yeah, not a huge amount of room. Um, I'm going to try and move stuff around so I can play it like standing up. Some games, like I think Batman's better standing up. It is, yeah. I played, I played through Batman standing up. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. And it was, oh God, it was so good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't, good. like when I, because that was the first thing I played. Um, yeah. So I had the demo downloading in the background while I was playing it. Sweet. Um, and as soon as you put it on, like the menu, you're looking over Gotham City. Yeah. And you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> nice. And the first bar, it's, I mean, it's not spoilery really because everyone knows what happens to Batman. Yeah. <laughs> And you get to relive it from the standpoint of little Bruce. Oh, right. So. And it's <laughs> terrifying <cool>. because <laughs> it's like the first thing, first thing I really experienced, well, the first thing I experienced on VR was like Bruce's, Bruce Wayne's mum talking to me as <laughs> I'm little Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus, this is crazy. Yeah. And then yeah. like, you see the whole incident sort of take place and I'm yeah. like, oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> and the next part you sort of go down into the back cave and this, it's like, That's this cool. is incredible. Yeah. I wanted to buy it one of the do it it's, yeah. it's really really good uh, I played through the whole thing as well I mean I, I faffed a bit um, there's <laughs> different parts of the back cave and stuff you can go to um, I mean it took me about it's about it's an hour, about an hour long experience yeah. and you have to you have to play it like this is the VR's it's... must play application I think okay just yeah. just because of like how well made it is like Rocksteady have done just an incredible job on it yeah it looks really good I'm going to have to know by on it cool yeah, so just wanted to buy this. <laughs> definitely get it. It's like fifteen ninety nine. Yeah, you have to buy a digital because they've not brought it out on disc in this country. All right, great. Cheers. But, uh, <laughs> that's one I just I highly recommend. Cool. Yeah, I get that tried for sure. Um, um, what else have you tried? Um, I tried the Resident Evil Seven kitchen demo. Um, it's basically sitting in the chair. Well, scary stuff happens around you. Uh, seemingly, uh, it did look like I, there was like, like a knife at your feet, which is supposed to be able to pick up because like tied up in the chair. Um, but every time I went to pick it up, my controller would go out of the camera's view and I couldn't do it. So I might try it again, sitting further away. And see if there's any way to progress in that demo. Um, but yeah, that's very cool. Then the, the, the lady was right up in your face. So I was like, oh God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it scared the living crap out of me. Like when, <laughs> yeah. like when that yeah, bloke feel... got up yeah. and like he's cutting, trying to cut you free and stuff, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is fine. And then she appears in the background. I'm like, no, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. And I was sitting there, I was talking, like, really, I was like, no. Okay, don't, and then when she goes around the corner with him, I'm like, okay, don't come back. Don't come back. And I was like, okay, I, I let down like you did. Yeah. And then the hands come across the visor, I'm like, I'm, I'm crapping myself. And then <laughs> her face comes, I'm like, this is so terrifying. But like, it feels real. Yeah. Like, it's it feels cool. like you're actually there, like, because obviously you play with the dual shark, not that you do it, like, your hands just wiggle about. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's impressive how immersive it actually is I wasn't yeah. I mean we didn't know what to expect going in <laughs> but like playing it it's, it's it's really crazy yeah I agree like it, it feels like someone's standing right there in front of you like your brain is tripping thinking there's someone yeah. actually there it's very cool um, headmaster like that a lot as well because like the ball's coming right in your face yeah yeah balls in the face oh. uh, but yeah that's definitely one to check out um, what else did I play I think that was about it really so far I do want to play more I was trying to record stuff as well for YouTube, it didn't even work out that well. Uh, so I'm gonna do it again tonight or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, last one to check out. Cool. I um I tried um Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. Oh yeah, I didn't try that one as well. Um, and it's really good. I yeah. was worried about motion sickness for that one. Mm. And when I first started playing it, I was like, oh, this could be a little bit motion sicky, but it's not. You just especially on the rail shooter, and there's so much going on around you that you don't have chance <laughs> to worry about any sort of motion sickness. Yeah, that's good. Um, but it's really fun. Awesome. Like really, really fun. It's disgusting as well. Like it's it's horrible. Yeah. Like there's a lot of the pigs and stuff going on from the Until Dawn main game. Oh yeah. Well, there's a, so. a a cool bit with the you know like um the the bad guy in the game the mm. dude who dresses up as the dude the tricks up yeah that guy. Yeah. There's a bit where he's he's huge. <laughs> um. It's it's so cool. Like yeah, it's hard to explain if you haven't played it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sitting here, it's like trying to explain it, and I'm like. Like the shooting and stuff is is fine. It's really accurate. You use the move controllers, which I think is better. I think the the most immersive experiences in VR 
are going to be using the move controllers as well. Yeah. Because you feel like you're part of the experience. I think we'll try. I haven't tried the move controllers yet uh, with that. I also tried uh, Tumble VR, which is like a little... Uh... Do you not use the move controllers with that? Uh, no, just a normal controller. Okay. Uh, that's cool. You just kind of basically just stacking up blocks and trying not to knock over. Okay. Also some other little game modes as well. Uh, it sounds simple, and it is, but it's really fun at the same time. Um, that's something I want to try out as well. As well. And, uh, oh, and Drive Club, obviously. Yeah, uh, Drive Club messed me up. It did? Um, Too I, much? I loved it. I, I loved the menus, and I loved sort of looking around uh, yeah. when the menus <laughs> are on and when you select your car and stuff. I think, honestly, I think that was the most impressive thing for me, to sit in the car looking behind me, seeing the back seat. Oh, yeah. that's cool. And going right up close to the uh, steering wheel. Well, when I saw <laughs> the steering cool. wheel, I was like, okay, I'm inside the car. Then I looked to my right, and I was like, I'm in the car. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. This is crazy. Like, what the hell? Um, but the the moving with using the dual shock is, I think, is what's throwing me off. It could be. Like, with yeah. the move controllers, I'm in. Con- I feel like I'm in control. Mm. But with the dual shock, I'm I'm not. Yeah, that's fair. Because uh, like the hands just kind of float in front of your face when you play when you drive the car. Yeah, so I know where I am. I've got my bearings. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm assuming sort of with tumble and stuff like that, you've. You know, you're sort of manoeuvring. Like, I'm sure I'm, you can use the move controls with that. I'm sure you probably can. can, yeah. But uh, you, you basically use your controller. You get like an image of your controller in the game. You yeah. Just, like, pick a block of that and move it over there. Put it on there. It works really well. Cool. Well, and I will. I, I mean, I'm going to try more of it tomorrow, uh, and I'm really excited to do it. Um, but I, I, I didn't find the setting up too much of a chore. The shit load of wires, in, an incredible amount of wires. Uh, yeah, it's a bit more difficult for me because I think because I have everything all in one unit. It's yeah. like, oh god, that was painting the ass. Uh, that's basically just a me thing um, but yeah just plugging everything in was fine uh, everything worked fine you can play about in the set in the like devices settings if you to, like recalibrate your everything <laughs> which works really well yeah I found the uh, the calibration not a chore yeah um, that was fine I, I mean I tried to play Batman sitting down at first and you need a, you need a bit of space yeah because you've got to sort of um, you got to there's a, you know the, the Begin at the bit at the beginning. You've got to lift the like piano up and unlock it with a key and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So you need a bit of room, otherwise your hands disappear out the screen and oh, that yeah. sort of thing. It doesn't work. <laughs> so, uh, but when I when I did it standing up, it was just perfect and it was it was superb. Cool. I'll try that. Then. Uh, yeah, There's lots more stuff to try out. Uh, lots of videos coming. Yeah, um, to those. I'm not sure what I'm gonna buy. Um, yeah, so I, I've obviously bought Batman. And I got some money sitting in my PlayStation wallet, but I don't know what to use it on. Yeah. I'm leaning towards PlayStation VR Worlds because um, it it looks really cool, and it yeah. looks like you, it's moving for you. It's moving you. Yeah. And I think that's what I can deal with. Okay. Like if I have to oh, yeah, move actually, myself, yeah, yeah. that's when the motion sickness is going to come in because you ha- it's, you're so used to using the right analog stick to mm. look around, and that's with that's what it is with rigs. Yeah, that's it's what it is with them. Yeah, like around. That. Yeah. Like with Rush of Blood, you're looking up and down yourself and, you know, you're in control. But with Drive Club, you have to move with the car. Yeah. With rigs, you have to move with your rig and use the right analog stick to move. And yeah. that's what's throwing me off, I think. Yeah, that could be it. I was the same with the Here They Lie as well. Just moving around with the right stick. That's, um, that, that's what it is, you see. It could be that. But, yeah, Drive, drive Club didn't really give me much of an issue. But I think it's just because it felt like I was driving a car. And I drive cars every day anyway, so it's like, they felt normal to me. That's fair enough. Yeah. Um, but I think VR Worlds is fixed. I think you sort of yeah, I think so. look around and... Yeah, because you, you own it, you're in a car in one of them, but it's you're not the one driving it. It's being driven for Yeah, yeah. So I'm leaning towards that. Um, but, you know, it's the same with anything. Not every game is going to be for you. Exactly, yeah. Because some people have said rigs works really well for them. Other people like yourself have said that it makes them feel real, which is totally fair. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to... it's. It varies person by person. I think so. Um, but with Batman, like I said, I had no problems. Yeah. With Un- Until Dawn, I had no problems. Cool. Um, the Resident Evil demo is, is what it is. I mean, yeah, it's sitting still, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, but I think that I, I, I'm so impressed by the technology. Mm, same. Um, and I refuse um, to believe that this isn't here to stay. Yeah, I think whether it'll be like the future of gaming, quote unquote, remains to be seen. But I think it will be around for a long time. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely get, hopefully get, uh, what's the word? I don't know. But, uh, we'll have games made for it. <laughs> There's a word for that. I don't know what it is. You mean sort <laughs> of like VR specific experience? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, to, to mostly probably little games. I don't think you'll have many main AAA title games coming on for it. There's only Resident Evil 7. Um, but I think it'll be mostly little games. For now, at least. Yeah, I mean, 
experiences, not like, experiences, like, yeah, like Batman, for example. Yeah. So like a, an hour or so experience. I mean, there's there's more to it. You can go back and play the whole game again, and there's diff because when you've done it once, the Riddler stuff comes along. Yeah, and then that's you cool. can do that as well. Awesome. Um, so I mean, yeah, for stuff like that, sure, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, but I mean, c you know, could you sit and play a, a full ten or twelve hour game? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess we'll find out when when Dylan Seven comes out. <laughs> Mini games, I think, are fine, but like you know, yeah. so like our experiences, I think, are going to be great. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I think it's awesome, though. I'm really, really impressed. Yeah, I am. I like it. Um, we'll see. it's even better than I imagined it to be. Cool. Yeah, that's about yeah, same. Yeah, I'm impressed. So I'm looking forward to carrying on playing a bit more. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. It is. Looking forward to trying out more, more stuff, more games. Yeah, for sure. Um. That's pretty much all we've got, sort of gaming wise. This week. <laughs> pretty much, not, not a slow week. Yeah, it's week. a real slow week for for. for slow month. Fact, there's pretty much no news at all. Pretty much. So we may as well jump straight into wrestling. Okay. A quick, another quick thing with VR. Are you using your own headphones or are you using the headphones that they provided for you? Um, I'm using my own headphones. Me too. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm not, I don't get on well with like in-ear in headphones. And they're also. not very good either. Yeah, didn't look very good. So I was no. using my own big bulky headphones. Yeah, I've been using my Tail Beach ones. Get cool. a full decent experience with that. Yeah, same. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so No Mercy was this past Sunday. It was. Did you enjoy the show? I did, yeah. I liked it. Mm. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a weird show. Like, I thought it was very <laughs> oddly paced. Uh, yeah, the main event going on first was bizarre. But uh, I don't yeah, understand I don't know. why it went on first. Yeah, it's a presidential bullcrap. Uh, politics and all that fun stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a good show. I liked it. Yeah, I thought the I thought wrestling wise it was strong. Yeah, but um, it was weird because they were playing sort of like vignettes for the matches when that match wasn't next. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's a Bray Wyatt thing uh, happened in it between matches. Yeah, and I, I couldn't really understand why it was going on, and it just it just felt there was something about the show that just felt a little off to me. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But uh, yeah, I, know, I liked it. Matches were good. That's all I care about. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's have a quick run through the matches, and uh, we'll talk. We'll sort of run through the results and talk about the matches, and obviously we'll go through our predictions as well. Yes. Okay. The first match, um, obviously, it was the main event: uh, AJ Styles versus John Cena versus Dean Ambrose, and uh, I really liked it. Yeah. So uh, they both had a submission hold on AJ Styles. Yeah. And AJ Styles tapped out, but uh, apparently that doesn't make, doesn't count. Because you can't have two people win a triple threat match. I don't even though it's happened before. Um, <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was called off and then we started the match. And yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I thought, I thought the match was really good. Yep. And that's what worried me about the rest of the paper. It was like, <laughs> yeah, how yeah. is it going to follow? How is the rest of the show going to follow this? Mm. Because this was like of such a high standard. Agreed. Like, all three guys in the match were so good. Yep. Like Cena is like really aggressive at the minute. Yeah, that's... and I really, really like sort of how he's been. Um, AJ Styles is is super, like so, yeah, so, good. so good. Agreed. It's, it's like crazy good. <laughs> and then uh, I mean, Dean Ambrose is is great as well. Yeah. So fine. I mean, it was obvious that the three of them were going to put on a, a really good show, and it didn't disappoint. Yeah. Direct result in the end for me. Yep, I agree. Um, it's either hit Ambrose with a like a super AA off the middle rope, and then AJ hit him with a few times at the chair and won. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit um, weird that they, I don't know, maybe do a still slash on the chair as well, maybe, I don't know, but, I don't know, AJ Styles won, so that's all Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what counts, that's the main thing, like, AJ Styles won, and then we can we can be happy. Yeah, and we both said AJ Styles would win that match, so we both get a point for that. Ding. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. And, uh, yeah, so the second match of the night was uh, Nikki Bella versus Carmella, and, yeah, Nikki was wearing the world's shortest shorts. <laughs> she was wearing very short jorts. Yes. It's still disappearing up her bottom. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was, it was an okay match. Yeah, it was uh, fine. Um, Kamala was uh, targeting the neck of Nikki, which I thought was smart. Uh, because obviously neck injury and all that. Sure. Uh, yeah. One fine. thing I've enjoyed about the match was fine. It was, you know, um, a very, it was, I thought it was very basic. Yeah. Um, and what I've enjoyed in the build up to this is sort of how good Carmella's been. In the heel role. Yeah, she's very good. I think she's been really good. Um, and the the heel side and the aggressiveness of her being a heel really came out in this match as well. Like you said, she was targeting Nikki's neck and mm. stuff like that. So um, 
that was that was really good. The match itself was was just fine. Um, uh, Nikki won, which is she did. Um, I can't remember if I had Nikki to win or not. I think I might have said Carmella. You did. Uh, I said Nikki. You said Carmella. Uh, so I get the point for that. Ding ding. Uh, um, but I, I thought Carmella would win because she's been so hot in the build up to it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it makes uh, sense. But I, I guess in you know realistically, it makes sense for Nikki to win because she's been on the back end of. Yeah, she wanted a good guy, feel good moment. Um, good guy always wins and all that. Yeah, sure. And uh, yeah, super face. I wish you died in the room, Nikki Bella. <laughs> yeah, remember the whole thing. What's that? Yeah, remember the whole... Uh, oh, with Brie. Yeah. I yeah. oh, know. That... Oh, she died in the room. I said, oh, God. The thing with that, it's like... I remember <laughs> that. Like, face. So, the, but then he sort of... Um, just sort of petered out. Yeah. And then they were back... back the best friends know, again. Twins and best friends again. Bizarre. It was really strange how it, how it all happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway. Next match. We had the Usos, the evil Usos, versus Heath and Rhino for the tag team titles. Uh, mm. We both said Usos would win this. Yeah. And we were both wrong. Uh, yep, we were both <laughs> completely incorrect. Yes, once again, Rhino wins with the gore, which I think is going to be a storyline thing going forward. So do I. Um, I thought one thing yet. the match <laughs> itself was actually quite good. Yeah, it's right. Um, the Usos carried the match. Yep, pretty I much. Think. <laughs> um, Heath was okay. Um, I mean, Heath has done so well out of this feud. Like, yeah, yeah, he's like super good. Yeah, um, he's like super over. I'm sure people are buying his t-shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sure. Poor Rhino doesn't have a t-shirt <laughs> and is, is just tagging along for the ride. Pretty much. Pun intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the Usos pretty much carried the match and, uh, till Rhino finished it off for the win, which is becoming something, somewhat of a theme here. Yes, I think so. It's going to lead into something. Yeah, I, think, I mean, it, that is going to lead to, um, them losing the tag team titles because Heath yeah. will lose it, I think. Heath will yeah, lose the right. belts. And Ryan will be like, oh, not surprising I've carried the team and all this sort of stuff. And yeah. It'll lead to the two of them having some sort of feud, even though, really, is it realistic for Heath to go against Rhino? <laughs> Probably not, but it's fine. Yeah. He'll come out the winner and he'll be over still, hopefully. Yeah. Maybe, maybe go I for mean, like mid card titles, I think. I think it, it has to be Heath at this point that turns heel. Because Rhino's like running for office in oh, Detroit. Point, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's wrestling and politics. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So um, Heath and Rhino kept hold of the titles, which I was very shocked about. Yeah, same. But it's fine. Let's try it out a bit longer, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, next match, we have everyone's favourite, uh, most looking forward to match, uh, Corbin, Baron Corbin versus Jack Swagger. It's Rolling Stones, baby, yay. Oh, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rolling Stones. Uh, what are you talking about? Jack? What are you talking about? It's a weird promo. Um, I didn't enjoy this match, I have to be honest. Yeah, same. It's a bit, it's a bit pants. And the crowd didn't enjoy it either. Yeah, I thought uh, Baron Corbin is a good, like, had good healing, heel stuff going on. Um, yeah, he, really work, heel. he works the heel, like, um, the heel persona really well. Yeah, he's like shouting at the crowd and stuff. And he's probably one of the best heels in WWE at the minute. Probably. He actually gets booed as well. Yeah. This is nice. Um, but this, the match just wasn't over with the crowd. Like, no, it's fairly obvious that no one cares about Jack Swagger. Yep. And for, you know, although they do boo Baron Corbin, you know, it, people are, I think, struggling maybe to care about him. Yeah, I think so. He's not really in any major feud and hasn't really done much yet so far. I don't know. So yeah, hard to care about it. Agreed. Uh, yeah, we both said Corbin would win. And they were both right. Yay. Did we both say Baron Corbin would win? Yep. I thought they'd gone for Jack Swagger. Oh. Mm, no, probably not. I went down there, Corbin. Right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to go back to last week's podcast. <laughs> yeah. Check that. Check, check the tape. Yeah. But, uh, yes. Check the tape. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 3 2 to me so far. Yay, me. Yeah, you. <laughs> uh, next match was probably the match of the night, if not, wasn't, not for the main event. Um, Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz. The Miz. Uh, outstanding match. Yeah. Incredible. Um, there's so many false finishes where it looked like Dolph was going to lose or tap out or something. Um, but not quite. Kept holding on. Um, I like the fact that Miz was kept stealing Danny Bryan's moves. Yeah. Like he's doing the corner drop kicks and the, the yes kicks. So I thought it was very cool. Um, Miz is great. <laughs> Miz is awesome. He's been on the run of his like career. Yeah. Uh, the Maurice, uh, Maurice went with his spray stuff again into the Skull Quest finale. It looked like it was going to be the end of it. But no, but got his foot on the ropes. Oh, last second. <laughs> and then the late Spirit Squad came down again. Let's get another payday. Yep. 
They're interrupting and everything's going nuts. Dolph still kicks out. And then, yeah, Dolph ended up hitting a super kick and went one. I thought it was well deserved after all this. Um, I ain't mad. <laughs> I am. Okay. <laughs> you don't like Dolph. I don't so. like Dolph Ziggler. Okay. I don't, I never have liked him. Um, I've tried, um, but I just can't. <laughs> I don't like his music. I don't like his look. I don't like his moves. Yeah. I don't like the, you know, the overselling doesn't go with me. No. I, I couldn't care less. Okay. That's fair. Um, not for everyone. He's a second rate Billy Gunn. <laughs> oh, that's a bit harsh. Billy Gunn wasn't that great. In the Billy Gunn was great. Was he though? Yeah. He's an arse man. Done, done. Billy Gunn was really good. Mm. Um, Dolph Ziggler. It just, <laughs> the problem I've got with this is that it made more sense for Dolph to lose than win. Okay. Mm because like I said, Dolph needs repackaging because the problem now is, um, I don't care any more for Dolph now that he's won than I did when he wasn't the champion. Okay. I, I don't know. I would disagree with that. I think most people would, I don't know. If you got a big chair and he won, everyone's super happy. That's fine. You deserve it on his back down. I, I don't know. I like mid. I like Dolph. I think going forward, like um, the crowd are going to die real quick for it. Maybe. It would be the first time. Um, but yeah, I see what you mean. I, I Dolph's character has gotten stale over the years. Um, but no, he, I think he deserves it after all these amazing matches he's had. Because it's been like the match of the pay-per-view for like last three pay-per-views. Um, so. But what I think Sorry. has happened here <laughs> is I think they've done uh, like a Heath Slater situation. Okay. They've been like, well, if I don't, if you don't win, then you're done. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess it's... Then it's like, uh, okay, we've said this now, what do we do? And they've panicked <laughs> and they've like, we'll just win and then we'll work it out. <laughs> yeah. Because this feud's now so. not over where I think it should be. Because it's been yeah. going for ages. Yeah, what, need, right. what needs to now happen is like this, the Miz and this Daniel Bryan thing is going to be some, there's going to be some sort of payoff towards it. Oh, yeah, I'm 100% sure. certain of that. Yeah. Um, now, Daniel Bryan described the Miz as safe. Yeah. If you're going to have one more match and you are injured <laughs> and, you know, not in a, in, gra- in a great way. Yeah. The person who you want to be in that ring with is somebody who is safe. safe yeah, definitely. Now, there's going to be some sort of payoff. Um, you know, if they build that feud big enough, they could absolutely have Daniel Bryan versus The Miz at WrestleMania next year. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, and I'm, I mean, you know, you hear, you read the stories of WWE will never clear him and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. But I don't buy it. I still think, I, I, st- I think there's, there's something there. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I don't think they're building this feud for nothing. There would have to be some sort of payoff to it. Um, whether that would be with Daniel Bryan in a match, well, I don't know. Remains to be seen, I guess. I really hope so. I hope so, yeah, it'd be great if he comes back to wrestling. It has to be a one-off. <laughs> yeah, he's probably right. Hopefully, it's not like when Bret Hart came back and wrestled that weird match with <laughs> Vince McMahon. Yeah, oh, God, that was awful. Yeah, it was weird. It's like he was wearing jorts and yeah. uh, like he barely like he's basically breaking his back while doing the <laughs> sharp. So he's like, yeah, there's no way he was in short of that. <laughs> so bad, he can't ensure something like that. <laughs> uh. It was so weird. Like it was awesome yeah. to see Brett back. Like I was just happy to see him back. Yeah, same. I, I, didn't, I didn't need to see him wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear, poor yeah, Brett. Very, very strange. But uh, Brett yeah. hates life. Yeah, uh, Brett hates everything at the minute. It looks like. <laughs> yeah, Brett hates Seth Rollins. Brett's <laughs> yeah. family hates Seth Rollins. Oh god. Um, yeah, Brett just hates, Brett hates Goldberg. And we'll <laughs> always hate Goldberg. everyone. Oh yeah, of course he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Brett hates everyone. Yeah. Brett hates life and everything and everyone in it. <laughs> Seemingly. Poor uh, Brett. Poor Brett. Anyway, so I had Dolph for this match. Uh, you had the Miz. It's another point to me. Yay. It's 4 2 to me. Cleaning up. I'm winning. Um, so, in between the matches, we had some bullshit mirror magic. <laughs> we had uh, Randy Orton looked in the mirror, and then it all, it all went more blurry and weird and ooh, spooky. Yeah, I was shaking my head. <laughs> yeah, same. While this was going on, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Come on, guys. Definitely, we love the mirror spots. <laughs> it's. I was expecting something to happen when he's looking to the mirror, like maybe someone appears behind him or something. Yeah. I wasn't expecting his face to sort of turn inside out and go weird. Yeah, it's like, made no sense, because why are we seeing it? <laughs> yeah. He would be seeing uh, Dumb. Stupid dumb. Yeah. Uh, I've got no... I mean, like I said, sometimes it's fine to have the supernatural stuff on it, but <laughs> there's a line. Yeah, there's like, there really, really is a line. Yeah. And that crossed it. Yeah. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, the next match, I thought it was going to be Bray versus Randy, that's what they were talking about, but nope. It was uh, Alexa Bliss versus, not Becky, but Naomi, because Becky was injured. So um, that still is injured. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Were you were tiny little bit disappointed when it was Naomi as Alexa's <laughs> opponent? A little bit, going to be honest. Um, well, I don't know why I was expecting Eva Marie. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting as well. But I guess I'd have been heel versus heel, so it wouldn't have made much sense. Yeah, I, I, I mean, people are quite into Alexa. I think. Yeah, but that's true. you know, like when they were like, "Oh, you see, we'll still have a match." I was thinking, "Oh, they're going to either bring someone new in." Yeah. I was thinking maybe they might even bring Oscar in for a match. Well, that'd be cool. That'd be very cool. Uh, didn't happen. Nope, didn't happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, cool, you know, like what they did with Bailey. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that when match. she just had that one-off match with Sasha in the tag team. Yeah. I was thinking they might do something similar, like maybe introduce Oscar onto the main roster, perhaps. That would have been cool. Until bringing her up. Fully, because, I mean, sh- she'll be up sooner oh, sure. rather than later. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I thought that would have been maybe a good way to introduce you, especially if you're going to have um, Alexa lose anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird, isn't it? I thought, having Alexa lose, because, like, she's the number one contender, so she should be winning all the time. But Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I-, I lost interest when I saw Naomi coming down. It's nothing, not a knock on Naomi, no. but I was expecting something different, and I didn't get what I wanted, so I, I just lost interest. <laughs> Yeah, it was obviously like rushed last minute. Um, there were a few, a bit sloppy, kind of not sloppy, but a few botches here and there. But I don't know, not just kind of a nothing match really. Uh, Nemi won with a like roll up thing. Yeah, no really big moves happening. It's just I don't know. It was a, it was a, a last minute match. Uh, yeah, that exactly. Looked like a last minute match. Exactly, <laughs> exactly right. And they announced that Becky would, uh, well, at least they announced on SmackDown that mm. Becky would. Um, Defend her championship on SmackDown November the eighth, yes. which is actually in Scotland. Yes, Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> you know that famous city, Glasgow, <laughs> Glasgow. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> so yeah. they was on to the kind of main event, I guess. The last match of the night it was uh, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Man, games. Yeah, um, the match itself. I mean, to be honest, I lost a little bit of interest after the main event. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I perked up a little during The Miz versus Dolph, but this is why I didn't really enjoy the show, because the main event should have been on last, and I think if the card was in reverse order, I think it would have been better. Yeah, you would have right. Because if you're watching No Mercy, you're watching No Mercy. I don't think you're <laughs> switching over to the president. Yeah, right? if, if you're a wrestling fan, you're probably not into politics too much. <laughs> I know I'm not. Well, that's just being by myself. But... Uh... Yeah, so I thought it was an okay match. It's a standard Randy Orton match. It's like Randy Orton, get, Randy Orton gets beaten up most of the match and comes back in the, in the end, like with a final rush. Yeah. Which seems to be a specialty. Um, very attempted a sent on onto the steel, onto Randy onto the steel steps. Missed, which looks really painful. Ouch. Yeah. And it looked like Randy Orton was going to win until the lights went out. Beep, 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 grab. And then, uh, good Luke impression. Harper. Good impression. <laughs> Thanks. I've been working on it. Huh. Like my, uh, Vince McMahon impression last week. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the last came back on, and Luke Harper was there. Uh, he didn't attack Randy, so it wasn't disqualification. He just kind of stood there, looking menacing. Yeah. And, uh, Randy all turned around into the test of Abigail, and Bray actually won a match. Yay! Finally. Um, great <laughs> to see Luke Harper back. Yes, awesome. Love seeing really Luke Harper. Really good to see Luke Harper back. Um, awesome to see Bray win a match. Yeah. I hope this is the start of good things for Bray. Yep, hopefully. He won the SmackDown as well, which is awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And you actually had Bray's winning for that. I had Randy Orton. So that is the final scores are four three to me. So another point for you. You're re- yeah. Are you so are we level now? We are. We're all tied up. The final, the uh, overall school school score school. would be uh, Sunny nine and Finn nine. Uh, all tied you up. Back. I was I was running away with it back. at one point. You were. Yeah. I managed to pull back. Pull back the uh, tie at least. Yes. So hopefully, all we need now is Shemi Rashi to get announced, <laughs> and uh, Last Garden to get eighty above. In Metacritic, when that comes out. <laughs> and for Sonji to not turn heel, which he won't, let's face it. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the build-up to Hell in a Cell, which is a couple of weeks away. Yes. So it's a week this coming Sunday, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I thought Raw was... I felt the three hours this week. Yeah, same. <laughs> I was feeling it. Have you got the Raw results there? Huh? Uh, I do. Uh, so let's, off, let's talk about Raw. Okay. Uh, so it starts off with a uh, women's opening segment, which is good. Uh, Sasha Banks in the ring, uh, saying, I'm the champion, yay. And then, uh, Charlotte came down. And then Rusev came down, which while Charlotte was coming down. 
uh, saying, I don't care about you women, I'm the, the US champion, should be, I'm Russian, black. Yeah, which I thought was really <laughs> okay. funny. Like, how different does Rusev look, even though he's only shaved the moustache bit? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I thought that. I was like, what's different about him? Something's, something's off. And I'll notice. So, it's like, oh, yeah. It's like Wolverine <laughs> yeah. Rusev. Wolverine Rusev. Yes, Wolverine Rusev. <laughs> Rusev <Rune>. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I thought Rusev was excellent here. Yeah, I thought I at one good. point like he was gonna swing for like <laughs> Sasha and Charlotte. Yeah, put that way. But yeah, I can't do that on PG. I don't think. Um, yeah, I, I did wonder <laughs> at that point whether sort of WWE were gonna look to go down that route. Yeah, the risky route to take. But um, it is, but like I mean, it's happening everywhere now. It's true, it's happening in Indies indie all the time. Yeah, which is it, fine. It looks great. Indies are doing it everywhere. I mean, I'm fine with it. It happens yeah. in Lucha Underground, which yeah. is I'm fine with. Um, it was weird at first. But I'm, yeah. I'm sort of used to it now. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, um, good opening segment. I thought Rusev looked good. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was cool when they did a, like a double drop kick on him out of yeah, the ring. Yeah, kicked him out of the ring. That was cool. Basically, this whole thing was to set up uh, the main event for the evening, which was going to be a mixed tag team match. Yeah, which did make a lot of sense because it was Rusev and Charlotte teaming up against... Uh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Roman. Uh, Roman, that's it. <laughs> Sasha, yeah. yeah. It was weird because like Charlotte... And Sasha drop kick Rusev out of the ring. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Charlotte's actually got to team up. Oh, sorry, I did that. <laughs> mm. We'll just team up now. It's yeah. It's fine. It's a bit weird. But it's fine. Yeah, it was cool. And uh, yeah, so we had. Oh, I don't know if I imagine where they gone. There they are. Uh, so yeah, the next match was uh, Cesaro versus Kofi. Um, obviously, it's Cesaro and Seamus are the number one contenders for tag team titles. Yes. Um, another funny New Day segment, as it always is. Yep. How big he was taking Bugios out with tights. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he was getting from. I had him stashed in there, but it was, uh. <laughs> yeah, the other two was kind of looking at him. Like, oh, what's I, don't going know, on? I don't know if I'd want Bugios out yeah, of these tights. I don't think I'd want to either. No. That's pretty funny. Uh, and yeah, it was a fine match. Uh, Jamie distracted Cesaro inadvertently, I think, and, uh, Kofi ended up winning. Which is fine. Sure. I mean, they're, the different. Different. they're building up to their tag team match at, uh, No Mercy. Yeah. Which I think Cesaro and Sheamus might win. We'll see how next yeah. week's build goes, and then I'll make a decision from there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that carries on. Uh, but a squash match with Bailey taking on uh, Cameron. Wait, it's Fields. not No Mercy, is it? Uh, Hell yeah, Hell in a Cell. Yeah, you know what you meant. I keep saying No Mercy, but it's Hell in a Cell. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so Bailey versus Cammy Fields, aka a jobber. Um, <laughs> Bailey won, obviously. Why are all these women <laughs> wearing the same ring attire? <laughs> yeah, it's like, kind of like, like a, a two piece, like, uh, yeah. like a, uh, I'm trying to pick my words carefully here. It's like a, I don't know, like a sports bra kind of thing. Thank you. Yeah. And then like, <laughs> some pants. That's what it is though, isn't it? Pretty much. Um, and yeah, just like, uh, CAW default gear. It is, it <laughs> is much. CAW, D- default CAW, that's what it is. Yeah. It's like when you can't be bothered to create a proper CAW. Yeah, it's just, yeah, use a default. Yeah. But uh, yeah, after the match, uh, Dana attacked Bailey, so that's going to be going to be a feud going forwards. Dana and Bailey. Yeah, it looks like fine. it. They'll probably have a match at Hell in a Cell. Um, my fear is that it gets dropped onto the pre-show. Mm, yeah. I don't want that for Bailey at this point. I want her to sort of be more exposed, so that you know when she does eventually go for the women's title, people care about it. Basically, yeah. uh, I'm fine with the feud though. I mean, I could see it coming. Um, you know, like last week when uh, Bailey attacked Dana backstage. Yeah, so I did see this coming. Um, but it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. And uh, had a couple of good uh, cruiserweight matches. Um, we had Gulak, uh, Drew Gulak and uh, Nice versus uh, Lin Serrado and the Ultimate Fighter Sin Cara, who's now in the cruiserweight division, which is cool. Yeah, which I'm, Tony I'm Nice totally fine with as well. Yeah, I'm fine with that. He looks, he's you know, he suits him. He's a cruiserweight and he wears a mask. Flies around a lot. He just gets away with it because of that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wears a mask. He's he's fine for the cruiserweight division. No yeah. How? Potentially out of shape he is. Uh, <laughs> I think but it's but fine. you know, uh, what do they weigh him in as? I don't know. I don't think they said. <laughs> do they never say? Weighing in as pounds. It's under 205, I'm sure, probably. Well, yeah, just, just <laughs> weighing in at 200, under 205 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Take a word for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, it's, it's great to see the cruisers getting so much exposure on Raw. Um, Good to see Sin Cara doing something decent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm happy to see um, to see him to see him in there. Lindsay Dorado is great. Yep. Uh, I had a feeling Sin Cara would probably pick up the pinfall. Yep. And he did, I think. I think so. Yeah. Um, but Tony Nice and Drew Gulak, great. Really happy for them. Both of them guys sort of being on the main roster. Yep. 
<laughs> something I thought was funny. Uh, Sin Cara went for a blind tag on the Lince Dorado, and the referee shouted, "Tag!" I mean it loudly. It's like, God damn it, ref! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be trying to be sneaky here. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, a side note here. Uh, somebody yeah. retweeted a photo of oh, uh, <laughs> from WWE 2K17 <laughs> yeah. of Sin Cara knocking out Simon Dutch backstage. <laughs> yeah, this game is realistic. <laughs> and, uh, it's seriously realistic. Yeah, it was funny. I love it. Good stuff. <laughs> I think Sin Cara should be on uh, the podcast thumbnail this week. Okay, sure, I'm gonna. <laughs> the Ultimate Fighter. The Ultimate Fighter, Sin Cara. <laughs> um, what else do we have tonight? I have done on Raw. Tonight is the night. Tonight blah, is the night. Blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm disappointed that they haven't got the new music on the game when it goes to career mode. It is very new, though. It is very new, yeah. But no, like, seriously fine. new. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so there's a couple of uh, authority segments, which were fine. Um, oh, they announced a US title match, which will be in, will be in Hell in a Cell, actual Hell in a Cell cell. Uh, also, the women's match will be in there as well, and the universal title match. Just so three Hell in a Cell matches in one night. Is that overkill? Yes. I was just about to say, that. <laughs> I think that's overkill. Yeah, I think so. Because it takes away the, um, the, the specialness of the match. It does, yeah. It's like when, you know, when the Hell in a Cell's there once, it's like, ooh. Ooh, ooh yeah. When it's I say like three occasion. matches in a row, like, they, they, I mean, granted, their matches won't be in a row. Yeah. Although, realistically, they could be because of be. the stature of the matches, but, yeah. Like, they'll have one to start, which will probably be the women's match. Yeah. One halfway through, and then, of course, they'll have the, main event in there as well mm-hmm. um, but what they need to do is make those matches stand apart from each other so they get each match is going to have to have something special yeah like one match is going to have to be sort of boring nothing exciting happens uh, one match. is going to have to sort of have people brawling outside the ring and one of them is going to have to have some sort of maybe on top of the cage action or something mm. I don't know but um, they're going to have to be different from one another to make having three not be as bad. Yeah, that's the problem with these like gimmicky uh, pay per views. It's like takes some of the specialness out of the it does, matches. Because yeah. if we only see Hell in a Cell like once every couple of years, then it like makes it make it special. But yeah, it's why they've done the right thing special. by dropping the elimination chamber. Yeah, because right. you don't need like to have a, a specific pay per view. Mm. Just do it every now and again. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, oh yeah, also they announced that if uh, Chris Joker could beat Seth Rollins uh, on War, then he will get put in the main events. A hell in a cell, which he didn't. <laughs> yep. So that was the end of that. <laughs> that was the end of that. Um, also, also, there's a backstage segment with uh, Seth Rollins. He accidentally uh, made a Matt Hardy reference, and he said obsolete. And everyone crammed it. Nuts. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh, delete, delete, delete. Yes, internet, we get it. Do you think he did it on purpose? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Because it was awesome. Because the crowd went obsolete. <laughs> yeah. like, delete, delete. Like, started going crazy for it. Uh, God damn it, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, so it's a boat. There's a Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel back together at the tag team match. Uh, it's gonna be against Enzo and Cass, but the club interrupted and beat up Enzo and Cass, which was cool. Yes, very good. Making them like top badass heels guys. Good. Um, then the match started out with Sami Zayn and, and Neville, which was fine. Weird. A bit weird. Why are they Didn't doing they, this? They got nothing else to do with them, no I guess. No idea what to do with Neville and Sami Zayn at the minute. Yeah. Bizarre. Well, I'm fine if they have to be a tag team, like and if they're going to sort of go for the belts or something. Yeah. But if they're not, and they're going to do just have random pointless tag team matches. Then what's the point in doing it? Yeah, I agree. Bizarre. Oh, well, they did announce on SmackDown that they're going to have like a tag team Survivor match. So like eight man on one team or something. So maybe they need actual people for that. So but Sammy and all together have made for that something like that. I don't know. Yeah, because there's like five tag teams. Yeah. So they've even got five tag teams on Raw. Exactly, yeah. So Yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. I guess, I mean, Survivor Series is the next pay-per-view after um, Hell in a Cell. Cell so. Yeah. Um, there's a R-Truth and Titus O'Neil match, which I immediately skipped. Yeah, I did as well. Because I don't care about either. <laughs> yeah, did exactly. Titus O'Neil lose again? Uh, yep. R-Truth won, I think. Didn't see it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't see it either. Uh, there was a backstage cruiserweight uh, bit with uh, uh, Tuesday Perkins talking with uh, Ryan Kendrick, which I thought was very cool. Uh, Tuesday Perkins making a ton of video game references. <laughs> like, oh, it's going to be game over. Uh, hit the pause button. Haha, get it? Video games. 
Um, uh, I think TJ Perkins <laughs> looks very comfortable in his role. Yeah, I think he is. Um, like face of the cruiserweight division. Um, but yeah, he, he just looks super comfortable. Like yeah. he and he's he, t- he talks well. Um, yeah, he's 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 excellent, and Brian Kendrick is excellent also. Yep, agreed. Um, there was another squash match with Braun Strowman versus the Splash Brothers. Mm. Oh my god! Where did they find you guys? Embarrassed for them. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell were they wearing? One of them had crazy hair, and the other one had like fluffy gear. It was weird. They're like fluffy caveman pants and boots. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Who are these people? <laughs> random job at A and random job at B. Um, That's like when you do random generator on CAW. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it random, and oh, here we go. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, but yeah, I really like Born Strowman in a minute. I think his cross matches are fun to watch. Yeah, he can be a like strong badass. He talks well too. He does, yeah. Great voice. And yeah, confident. Love it. Yeah, I like him. He's. Um, I'd be interested to see what it's like when he does go up against somebody good, uh, which yeah. hopefully we'll see next week. Hopefully, he, he, he went on the microphone again and said, "I want real opponents." I said last week, "If you didn't get me real opponent." I, you know, break you know how I see this going? Or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think they'll put him against three people next week. <laughs> yeah. He'll beat them, and then he'll say, then he'll have a match at Hell in a Cell against somebody good, and that's when we'll see Big Show. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're probably right, yeah. I wouldn't surprise him at all. And they'll, like, they'll brawl to a no contest. <laughs> God. Yeah. This is, I can just see that's what's going to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, that's definitely a WWE thing to do, isn't it? It's a very WWE thing to do. Yeah. Like, Mick Foley will come out after Braun Strowman <laughs> squash three jobbers next week, and he'll be like, okay, it's, uh, Hell in a Cell, you will have uh, a decent opponent. Yeah. Or whatever. Don't say who it is, I'll just tease it. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be, oh, well, it's the big show. The crowd, mm. crowd goes mild. <laughs> the crowd goes for a wee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so they had the uh, Silent Rusev versus Roman and Shasta match, which was fine. Um. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was fine. Yeah. I'd lost interest in Raw. Like, like, yeah, I'd like most interest in fading at this I, point. So it, it just was a... It, like I said, I felt the three hours. Yeah, like, it was tough. same. Um, yeah, no, it was a fine match. Uh, everyone did their part. It was cool. Yeah, good, sure. The good, the good guys won, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I think so. I think that happened. Yeah. Well, the court segment where uh, Paul Heyman called out Goldberg... And then Aster Goldberg will be appearing next week on Raw. What do you think to this? Um, I don't know. I'm okay with it. Um, I don't know if it will be a good match, but it will be a spectacle, which I think is what they were relying on. But it, because it wasn't a good match before. It wasn't. <laughs> and we are now, when was it? Many years. <laughs> many, many years later. Th- WrestleMania 20 it was at. So with thir- this is WrestleMania 33 is the next one. Yeah. So, so we're, thir- we're nearly 13 years removed from this. Yeah. Um, I don't know what kind of shape Goldberg is in. I'm assuming, you know, he looks after himself and he's, oh, he's you know, probably huge. still <laughs> lifting weights and doing all that sort of stuff. And yeah. I'm sure he's still in fairly immaculate condition. Probably. Um, uh, I mean, I, I think it's going to be cool to see Goldberg next week. I really yeah. do think it's going to be cool. Oh, and he's yeah, obviously going to accept the match, and they're, they're going to have it at Survivor Series, I imagine. Yeah, got to be. How many times we see Goldberg and <laughs> or Brock in this, you know, in between next week and then? Probably not much. <laughs> remains to be seen. Yeah, but, um, ball him a lot, I bet. But uh, I think it's, um, I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm reserving same. judgment until I've seen next week's Raw. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, me too. Me too. Uh, so did the Cruiserweight match, which was uh, Chite Perkins versus Arya Divari, uh, with Kip Brian Kendrick on the commentary. I thought it was very good mm. on the commentary. Um, and yeah, it was a good match. Uh, Chite Perkins, obviously, the most, the more uh, athletic of the two. Um, but yeah, it was fine. <laughs> I thought it was fine. Yeah, again, it's, it's good to see some of these guys like Arya Divari and um, who, of course, is the brother of Sean Divari. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's cool to see these guys getting a chance on Raw. Um, it's good to see TJ Perkins shining every week. Hmm. Um, the crowd are getting more into it as the weeks roll on as well. Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think that needs to, uh, as you know, as long as the cruisers keep getting exposure, the crowd will they'll get into it. It's the same with everything. Takes yeah, time. Exactly. 
because like, like we like we were sort of talking about, some of these people didn't watch the Cruiserweight Classic, mm. like people don't watch NXT, and it, uh, you know, you if you don't watch NXT, what are you doing? You are missing out on some truly outstanding wrestling, yeah, and you're missing out on Samoa Joe, who is my favourite thing on WWE TV. Full stop at the minute. He's yeah, awesome. He's great. Very good. Um, so yeah, other than that, it was we had the main event, which was uh, obviously Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. Um, and yeah, it was fine. <laughs> it was yeah, Jericho lost. Uh, Seth was winning until uh, Jericho. Uh, I mean, uh, Kevin Owens interrupted. Uh, he was super kicked in the face, and the ref wasn't looking. Stuff like that. And uh, yeah, Seth ended up winning with the wall up. So yeah. It was fine. That's fine. That match didn't need Jericho in it anyway. No, I don't think um, so. Something will give with that friendship eventually, and um, either, I mean, Jericho's so good as a heel. Yeah, he is. Um, so I don't really want him to turn face. So something will something will happen eventually, and it will lead to Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. But, uh, um, yeah. Raw was a, Raw was hard work this week. It was. Yeah, I was feeling it for sure. So the fallout on, from though. No Mercy was obviously this week's SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- I thought it was a good show. I thought it was a more cohesive show than Raw was. Yeah, it's easy, easy to watch being two hours. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> a sure. better, it's a better formatted show. Uh, have you got the SmackDown stuff there? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, just started out with uh, a Dolphin Miz segment. Uh, it makes sense. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, it was Dolph versus the Spirit Squad two on one match. I think he requested it. Uh, Spirit Squad still getting paid. <laughs> yeah, for them. Um, I'm happy to see the Spirit Squad still around. <laughs> um, oh, because yeah. they, they, they both, they, they both look good in the ring. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. So, I mean, you know, if it's going to add more star power mm. to the <laughs> SmackDown roster, then I'm fine with it because Kenny's really good and I'm sure Mikey's fine as well. Yeah, it's fine. Um, uh, but yeah, it's cool segment to start off the match with. I don't remember too much about it because it was a whole day ago. <laughs> but my memory's not that great. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I think Miz attacked after the match, didn't he? And, uh, he attacked Dolph Ziggler. Saying, I want a rematch. Or something, I don't remember. Don't know, I can't remember. I've, I've watched <laughs> it as well. Yeah. I have watched it and I can't remember. Must have been good then. <laughs> but Dolph Ziggler beat the Spirit Squad. He did, yeah. He won. Good and job, then, Dolph. Um, or, or did he? Yeah, he did. Then the Miz came in afterwards. Yeah, then the Miz came in afterwards. Yeah, him. okay. That, 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 that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, we had Commander versus Naomi again. Well, no, that's yeah. Commander versus Naomi for the first time. <laughs> uh, Commander attacks Naomi before the match started, and then uh, Nikki interrupted that, and uh, Naomi ended up winning again with a wallop. Naomi wins every week. She does, yeah. And they're pushing her for a title. I think she will thing, eventually. eventually. Yeah. I think after Alexa sort of had her turn, um, Becky would maybe defend against Naomi, but there's yep. too many. Maybe there's too many heel divas on. Face Divas on SmackDown. Yeah, maybe. Becky, Naomi, Nikki. Yeah. Who else we got? Others. <laughs> I guess there's th- yeah, three faces and then there's Italia. And you got Eva Marie, but she's not there. Yeah, Italia's a heel, yeah. But yeah. she's not been on in a couple of weeks. Yeah. There's a few more ladies on there, I think, maybe. Either way, I mean, the um, the women's division sort of has a set path at the minute, anyway. It does, yeah. Um, well, so we have yeah, Jimmy Uso versus Chad Gable. Uh, Jimmy ended up winning with roll-up and Jay like rested his foot against him it's apparently helped for some reason yeah apparently so. <laughs> apparently he gave him leverage but I don't see how but that's yeah, yeah. that's a bit weird um, so that was an okay match uh, oh well, that's right AJ Styles had a match with uh, James Ellsworth everyone's favourite mm-hmm. uh, Danny Bryan came down and made uh, Dean Ambrose guest referee and Dean <laughs> Dean was up to many scenarios just thought it was very funny he took, took, took the ref shirt to start with did you see yeah, um, yeah. D Styles class nearly killed James oh, Ellsworth? Yeah, like AJ saved him basically yeah. because like and what he said, I like, took his head. We're not supposed to do that. He says you that like every other move apart from the Styles class, pretty much. Yeah. So I guess it's force of habit, but yeah, you don't take your head on the Styles class, people. AJ Styles landed <laughs> on his knees and so basically saved him. Yeah, pretty much. Jesus, I mean he's lucky. He is super lucky. Otherwise, he's landed straight on his head. Yeah, that's how uh, Yoshi Chachi broke his neck in Japan, like. He took his head, took tucked his head on the side of the and yeah, messed him up big time. Yeah, it's a dangerous move. It is. It is. Just put your head back, people. Remember that if you're having a match with that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're having a match with AJ Styles, second star slash. Put your head back. Um, but yeah, weird match. 
But I like Dean's shenanigans, I thought it was very funny. Um, he was like on his phone at one point. He was like taking autographs, being distracted. Um, ended up hitting AJ with two dirty deeds. Uh, pulled Ellsworth onto him and James Ellsworth, El- uh, James Ellsworth won the match. Yeah, so AJ James Styles. Ellsworth holds a, uh, a W over AJ Styles. Yeah. And, and uh, on Talking Smack, they announced that James Ellsworth will be back next week in the title match against AJ Styles. <laughs> if you can believe that. Okay, well, he won't win next week. Oh, bloody hope not. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, James Ellsworth is the WWE world, world champion. champion. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I thought it was funny after the match as well. Um, he was holding up his arm in victory. And he let go and James was just, I was just fell on the floor <laughs> in a heap. I thought it was funny. Um, I, yeah. I, I mean, the, in- James Ellsworth has got the internet to thank <laughs> yeah, for, for sure. his popularity. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Um, he's got a few paydays out of it. People now know who he is. Yeah. He'll, be doing, he'll, he'll sign a few autographs and be at wrestling conventions and stuff in <laughs> time to come. Yeah, uh, that's, fine. that's fine. Good job. Fair play. Oh, sure. And then the end of the match was uh, the main event, which was uh, Bray and Luke uh, versus Randy Orton and Kane. And uh, it was fine. I don't know, Randy Orton and Kane apparently are best friends now. <laughs> sure. Kane's yes. in limbo at the minute, isn't he? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was an okay match. There's some more white magic bullshit at the end. <laughs> Lights went yeah. out. Randy was going for the tag to Kane. Lights went out. Um, Lights came back on. Kane had disappeared and Luke Harper was standing there with his arm out. Like, oh my goodness. Magic. Where's Kane? Kane? Yeah. Where's Kane? Where's, Where's Kane? Kane? Who knows? Put it in the ring. Chill. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Randy would turn around again into his sister Abigail and Bray won again. Yay. Thank goodness. So this is a nice streak that Bray's on. It is. Um, Oops. It's, it's all coming up right at the minute. Yeah. Which is good. It's good. He needs the wins, finally. For sure, yeah. He, he always seems to lose the whatever feud to him. So. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy to see Bray getting um, a bit of recognition, but uh, finally, it's taken too long. Yeah, much too long. Way too long. Um, do you see about Hideo Itami? Yeah, poor guy. Injured his neck. Yeah. Jeez. See the landing? I didn't actually know. I've seen the switch, is it? Mm-hmm. Shit. Like, um... What's his name? Riddick Moss. Um, like I went for a snap power slam. Oh, right. And I think, to be honest, I think Hida- um, Hideo is actually to blame for it. Oh, really? All right. Because he didn't sort of tuck his head the way he should have done, but he lands, he lands terribly. E. Not good. No. Um, yeah, I've already, he just got back from a shoulder injury now. He's out again with a neck injury. I know. Apparently, he's going to be back for this, the uh, Japanese, jo- Japanese? <laughs> Japan tour in uh, December. So, not out for too long. But yeah, I mean, this, this probably messes up the Dusty Rhodes yeah. Tag Team Classic. Yeah. I Obviously, think... he was due to uh, pair up with uh, Kota Ribushi. Which would have been awesome. So, I don't know if Kota's going to have a new partner or... I hope so. Otherwise, I'm going to give him a new partner. Not sure who it would be, but mm-hmm. maybe someone with the Cruiserweight Classic. Have you yeah. seen NXT this week? Oh, I haven't yet. No, I need to watch it. It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, really, really good. Enjoyable. Awesome. Samoa Joe is definitely my favourite thing on WWE TV <laughs> at the minute. He's awesome. Yeah, he's so good. He's a beast. And I, I think uh, we've needed the Nakamura break. Because yep. for as awesome as Nakamura is, um, you know, there's a slight overexposure there. Yeah. Like when, like they've had to invent an injury for him to be off TV. Yeah. Like much. when Finn wasn't on NXT for about four weeks, no one cared and everyone just got on with it because NXT is so awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, NXT, NXT was good this week. Good. I'll watch it. There you go. Um, this sure. is a much shorter podcast this week. Yeah, not, not, not a lot going on. Not a whole lot video game wise going on. No. Uh, Lots of interesting stuff. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. We've got to talk about it, really. It's <laughs> like, it's literally yeah, just over an hour. Right. That's right. Hour and three minutes. Nice short one. Yeah. Good. Bye Boys and girls, podcast. this is the Sunny and Finn Show. We yes. are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. Please go subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Uh, leave us a nice comment, rate us, all that sort of stuff. Yep. Follow us on SoundCloud if you don't have iTunes, mm-hmm. or you can use Stitcher or any other podcast service. Pretty much anything. And please go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of stuff on there at the minute, yep, yep. Um, including our WWE 2K17 stream from the other day. If you wanted to sort of see the new game in action, mm-hmm. we're on there playing it. And of course, we'll be back a week this Sunday playing through the Hell in a Cell card. Yep. That'd be awesome. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Me too. And we'll be streaming in between now and then as well. We're yeah. going to continue our Overcooked campaign. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. So, but for now, I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we will speak to you next time, guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.